Sometimes before we process a picture to add stitches, we want to adjust the image in different ways. We may want to crop the picture so only certain parts of the picture will have stitches added, or we may want to change the colors of the image. We've talked about the cropping tools in the Auto Digitize Toolbox. We have used the rectangle crop to crop the background away from an image, but you may want to select a specific shape. Select the image, click on Crop Background. To crop the football, we will use the Any Shape Crop Tool. Cropping with the Any Shape Tool is done with left and right clicks. Left clicks will form points, right clicks will form curves. Since this football is curved, we'll only be using right clicks. I'm going to click inside the outline so that the outline will not be added to the football. The tighter the curves, the closer together your right clicks will be. Press Enter to crop. The football is now ready to be processed. For this, I'll just click on Instant Auto Digitize, and stitches are added to the picture. Of course, this can be reshaped. You can change the type of stitch, can change the colors. You also have all these different cropping shapes to experiment with. You can select the shape you want, and click and drag on the image. As you move your mouse, it will change the shape of the heart. Release the mouse and then process this image. You can get some interesting results. And of course, this design can be edited as well. Another type of adjustment can be in the colors of an image. With this image selected, I'll click on Touch Up Bitmap in order to change the colors of the bitmap image. Touch Up Bitmap will open Corel Photo Paint as that is what I have selected in my options. Select the eyedropper tool and right click on the color that you want to add to the eyedropper tool. To select part of the bitmap, use the magic wand tool and click on the area of the image that you want to change. Select the paint bucket, click on the image to change the color. In Corel, the spacebar will toggle between the last two icons selected. Press the spacebar and the magic wand will come back. You can select another area, press the spacebar again, and place the color inside that part of the image. To select a different color, select the eyedropper tool and right click on a color chip. This time we'll select a color that is not in the picture. Select the magic wand tool, click on an area of the image you wish to change, select the fill tool, and click in that area to change the color. Press the space bar, select the next area, press the space bar, and click again to change the color in that part of the image. When you are finished changing colors, close Corel, and the image will be updated in Embroidery Canvas and is now ready to process with the colors that you want.